Hi, uh, this is Mel. This low so greed videos are just for entertainment purposes. Please do not take them seriously. These are just to entertain you and give you some knowledge which was there for thousands of years. Low so greed uh, been practiced in Chinese uh, astrology, also in Indian astrology, in Vedic astrology. So uh, this just giving you some knowledge and might benefit from knowledge and some remedies. But these are just for entertainment purposes and don't take them seriously. <laughs> Hi, today we're going to do the number 8. The number 8 represents the earth element and lies in the northeast of the Losu grid. So number 8 is ruled by Saturn and um, it relates to fame, justice, house, property, getting inheritance from parents or owning your own property and having lots of wealth, be able to invest and make good decisions about the wealth and also it has to do with courage, confidence, desire to do things in life, be somebody very disciplined, do work on time, finish it on time, have a desire to become somebody in life, be very extremely laborious and hardworking and also kind and compassionate to the poor, kind and compassionate to the women, elderly people, sick people, handicapped people. People, all the characteristics that Saturn has and Saturn asks from us. What Saturn asks from us is to be very hardworking, honest, very motivated, very disciplined. Wake up 4 a.m. in the morning, do your mm, exercise, do your work, be kind to the poor, be kind to the handicapped. Be kind to the women, be kind to the elderly, be kind to the children, anybody who needs help, be kind to animals. Uh, so Saturn requires this good qualities. So a person has only one eight, only one eight. Suppose somebody is born in December 6, 1980, one eight might have all these characteristics should have now we're going to talk about so this is for somebody who has it and so people who has two one people who don't have it let's decide what happens to people do not have any missing number eight impacts a personal life um, very devastating and they don't get any ancestors property I mean any their parents or anybody is their family that they can get money property assets after their death they do not get it because there is no eight present there will be problems getting it and then for their own house or properties it will not happen until suppose somebody does not have a eight they can have a house only if their partner their wife their partner has a eight children has eight and when their age total up as eight suppose uh, their age suppose they are say 63 years old 62 years old when they're 62 years old six plus two total is eight only that age they can have a house because that total up eight so when they don't have a eight they might be a billionaire but they still would not own a property or a house because of there is no eight present in the chart and Yes, there are exceptions, but then you will see 
that they will have a lot of problem with the house like there will be a lot of problems a lot of things broken have to spend a lot of money a lot of headaches because there's no eight so they don't get any ancestors property inheritance and then they have a lot of problems in every areas of their life house luxury things property car owning anything and you wouldn't see them having a luxury house luxury car luxury thing they might be billionaire still they will be living a life of a poor person or a homeless person they will be like that because there is no aid and also they won't be very religious or praying or anything because there is no aid satan makes people very religious and when they don't have eight, you will see they are not kind to women and children. And specifically, they are not kind to poor, handicapped, very needy people. They don't give them any money, do not donate, not even a penny, even though they could be a billionaire. But they will not hand out a penny to needy, poor, anyone. Because there is no eight so they don't have kindness and compassion towards poor handicapped needy people women children uh, so they have a lot of problems in life with money with work every areas mm, okay so uh, since the eight is missing they have problem with wealth and if they have wealth they have acquired wealth that wealth is just acquired and sitting in a place but they cannot enjoy it they cannot have a big house cars things they will live on two pairs of clothes one pair of rotten shoes they cannot enjoy that money simply because the eight is missing because of missing eight they have problem making decisions over their money investment things and so you see even though they have money they cannot utilize it they lose a lot of money on uh, like suppose they don't have a eight and they bought a house or they bought car uh, and they will lose a lot of money on repairs accidents and damages in home water damage breaking wall breaking ceiling breaking all sorts of problems in home and they're not able to handle their financial matters properly so they will trust certain investment certain business they will put a lot of money and they will lose a lot because they trust and they have a tendency to trust wrong things and they have a tendency to be very stubborn and not listen to anyone's um opinion views or or advice they they think they know everything so they're very they become overly depending and trustworthy on someone and they become very careless about their money property things and then they suffer due to uh, losses mm -hmm. and then also they don't have motivation they don't have desires like like you when the people don't have eight you will go to their house and they could be billionaire and you will see that everywhere inside the house is broken everything is falling apart and they don't have proper furniture they don't live properly it's just they do not have that desire to live a good wealthy life even though they have the wealth they cannot use it for themselves their entire life will be gone and the wealth will be sitting but they will not be able to enjoy it to buy a house buy furniture live a lavishing life they cannot do it because there is no aid they won't be able to get up early in the morning and do exercise do their work be dedicated have a discipline have written they are not going to do it because there is no aid even if you put them on a schedule the next day they will not they will not do it they don't have any desire or motivation so it is very easy for a person who has only one eight to stick to a routine dedication 
and just um, be motivated to do things but people who do not have a eight it is next to impossible to put them in a routine and make even for sleeping routine they will be sleeping at 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m sometimes 6 a.m they do not have a routine to sleep they do not have a routine to wake up they do not discipline they don't exercise daily they will not do anything which requires discipline they are not disciplined at all saturn makes us disciplined saturn is very difficult because saturn is a very hard teacher so when there is no eight the teacher is not there so what happens if the classroom there is no teacher children do whatever they want they will be throwing things on the blackboard some would be sleeping some would be talking some would be eating there is no discipline same thing when this eight is missing there is no discipline in life so eight is extremely crucial so what happened is they leave all their works unfinished basically in one word i'll say they will beat around the bushes but they will not going to get to the destination and even if you tell them okay hey listen the destination is from point a to b but for going to point a to b they'll go in circles so they will never reach to the b they will go in circle, waste their time. So the, they will beat around the bushes, waste their time, but they do not finish things. They do not stick to anything. Like you said, okay, from 7 to 8 in the evening, you will exercise. They will do one day, but after that, they will not follow that because they do not have that motivation, desire to be disciplined so that's the very important thing so this one was about what happens if a person has it and what happens if a person does not have it now we're going to talk about the remedies so the remedies for when a person has only one eight they do not need any remedies because that's perfect but when a person does not have any eight suppose it is say december 6 2000 there is no eight so since there is no eight this person's life is going to be like that so what can we do to remove some of the negative impact in life for missing the eight we're not going to be able to remove all the negative impacts totally we're going to be able to remove some of it and 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 all of it, if we want to remove all of it that is also possible because everything is due to karma so if everything is due to karma if we change our karma obviously the outcome will change so we have to see uh, first of all we have to do remedy wise we need to put a vessel like a vessel copper vessel preferably you can see amazon is available indian stores are available it's called lota uh, a kalash a lota this is a, nothing but a copper vessel copper is preferably okay a vessel full of water and we need to give some crystals like any kind of clear quartz or something next to it not in the water next to it and put these to the crystal and the water full of vessel in the northeast direction of the home so in a room you put in the northeast direction or the in the home in the northeast direction a copper vessel full of water well, it doesn't have to be copper. You can use any kind of colors that you can find. It's called colors or lota, which we use for our prayer ceremony. Put water in it. And if you see any prayer ceremony, you will see there is a, there's a little container filled with water. And this container is usually made out of copper. 
so you get a colors full of water and next to it have some clear crystals and keep it in the direction of northeast in the home now must to help out handicapped poor needy women children and animals okay donate salty food any kind of salty food to the homeless people needy people poor people you can even donate blankets clothing anything that you could help out who needs help okay and be very religiously disciplined wake up early in the morning four five six preferably four because between four and six is the brahma mohta that's the time to do anything to get the best outcome just like between eight and ten at night is the best time to go to sleep wake up four and six between four and six so wake up early in the morning do your exercise play pray to lord saturn do your work work hard at your job and then help out some poor handicapped helpless needy people old women in your neighborhood old men in your neighborhood anything that you could do to make other people's life better every night before sleeping ask yourself what have i done today to make someone's life better what did i do to bring little smile on people's face or what did i do to help out animal or feed the birds things like that so donate salty food to the needy people to make up for the missing number eight why is the eight missing because the person in the last life used to be very mean and did not ha had a lot of money property assets but did not put it in the right use were very mean to women children handicapped people beggars anybody needy people old elderly people or parents even um wife kids was very mean to them so that is why the eight is missing and the person had property house all this thing they used it in the wrong way that is why it cannot have those things in this life see anything that we cannot do anything ha cannot have missing is because we have done something wrong with it in the last life so this life that number is gone because we need to do without it because it's just like you know we say to a child okay if you're not going to do your homework you're not getting any candy forget it you don't have this tv show today because you just did not do your homework so that's what it is so if you had these things and you weren't good so then that's the outcome not having aid so donate salty food to the needy homeless and every saturday eat only vegetarian meals if you can fast eat fruits and vegetables that's even great but if you cannot fast eat vegetarian meal boil lentils but do not eat any meat on saturdays saturdays do not do any evil work like be mean to somebody be rude so saturday try to do good things do good thing for the community good thing for the poor people good thing for the elderly good thing for your family pray eat vegetarian meals so that's and if you're married saturday how should i put it don't do anything in the night saturday yeah so sa give a rest for the saturday yeah do whatever you need to jump in is on friday because saturday will be saturn's day so saturn's day at night no hanky panky and daytime living on fruits and vegetables and doing good work for the people who needs it give them salty food okay and put a colors or lota or a 
a copper vessel full of water in the northeast side of the house and put some crystals next to it okay so these are the things we can do as a remedy now i'm going to do the next video on the repetition number